Hi, welcome to our short video tutorial showing you how to set up a VPN connection on your iPad and connect to my private network using our VPN manager application. Before we begin you'll need to go to the App Store and download our app. The easiest way to find it is to search for my private network, it's free of charge so go ahead and download it. Once the app is downloaded it will place the icon on one of your home screens. To open the app, tap the icon and you'll see the login screen. You need to enter your My Private Network username and password and when prompted tap OK to save your details. So this is the main app screen. The top half is your current status and shows the state of the VPN connection, your username, your current IP address and the country that we think you're currently in. It also shows the status of your account. In this example, we're in Malaysia and we have a global account. The bottom half of the screen allows you to install a VPN profile into your iPad. Whilst you could do this manually, using the app is much easier. To install a profile, you need to choose the country and protocol that you wish to use. In this example, I have a global account, so I need to choose the country that I wish to connect to. If you only have a single country account, the country will already be set for you. To choose a country, simply tap on Please Select and choose your country from the drop-down list. In this case, I will choose GBR for the United Kingdom. You can also choose the protocol that you wish to connect with. We recommend you accept the default protocol PPTP, but if you would prefer to use L2TP, you can do so. Once you're happy with your selections, tap Install, and the app will connect to one of our web servers and download the requested profile. Once the profile has been downloaded, you'll be prompted to install it. Tap on Install, and on the confirmation window, tap on Install Now. If your device is protected by a passcode, you will need to enter it to confirm your action. Once the install is finished, tap on Done to return to the app, which will automatically open the help page showing you how to connect. For security reasons on the iPad, an application is not allowed to connect or disconnect the VPN directly, so to do this you need to go into the main iPad settings application. Tap back in the top left hand corner to go back to the application main screen, and then press the home button to get to the home screen. You need to find the icon for settings, and then tap it. As we've just installed a profile, the Settings app is still in the Profiles section. Tap on General in the top left hand corner to go back to General Settings. You can see that you now have a new VPN option fourth down on the left hand side. To connect to the VPN, simply tap on the switch next to VPN. The text will change to VPN Connecting, you'll see the round progress indicator and after a few moments the switch should turn green indicating that the VPN is now connected. You should also notice the small VPN icon in the top left hand corner of the status bar. Whenever the VPN is connected, you'll see the VPN icon in the status bar and this allows you to confirm the VPN status without having to go back into settings. So, now that the VPN is connected, you can just confirm everything is okay by going back into our app. You don't have to do this at all, but if you want confirmation or aren't sure that the VPN is working correctly, a quick check in our app will allow you to confirm that everything is okay. Press the home button, find the icon for our app and tap on it. Once the app is opened, swipe down to refresh and you'll see the status change to VPN is connected. You should also notice that the location has now changed to United Kingdom and you may also notice that the IP address has changed. Press the home button to close the app and just notice that we can still see the VPN icon in the top left hand corner of the status bar telling us that VPN is still connected. So that's it. We've confirmed the VPN is connected and that the internet now thinks that we're in the UK. So you can go ahead and access whatever sites you're interested in. If you want to disconnect the VPN, simply tap on the settings icon and tap on the green switch next to VPN. After a few moments the switch will turn white and you'll also notice that the VPN icon in the status bar disappears, indicating that the VPN is now disconnected. If you want to confirm this, again you can use our app. Press the home button to close settings and tap on our app icon. Once the app opens, swipe down to refresh and you will see the status changes to VPN is not connected, the location changes back to your actual location, in this case I'm in Malaysia, and the IP address also changes. That's all there is to it, it's about as simple as we can make it. If you do have any problems, please let us know. Our support email is support at my-private-network.co.uk. We'd also love to hear any feedback you may have. Again, you can email our support 
or connect with us on Facebook at fb.com slash myprivatenetwork, or one word, or on Twitter at mpnotify. Thank you for watching.